Ever since he got that book, it's like we don't exist. Tell me about it. What do we do? Hmm. What's the title? Would you mind repeating that? I said, what's the book called? The title. Would you mind repeating that? You got hairballs in your ears? What's the cotton picking name of the book? That is the name. Would you mind repeating that? Oh, ha, cute. What's it about? It says it's a book of sayings, Americanisms, aphorisms, adages, cliches, colloquialisms, figures of speech, idioms, maxims, platitudes, proverbs, okay, I get the spoonerisms, idea. tongue twisters, memorable doggerel to entertain you and your friends. <laughs> doggerel, I like that. When the crap is doggerel. <laughs> you know, funny little nonsense rhymes, plays on words, silly stuff. Then shouldn't it be called Catterall? Hey, get this. There's a whole category with sayings about dogs. A barking dog never bites. Beware the dog. Dog is man's best friend. Love me and my dog. That's a good one. <laughs> There's an oldie. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. I can sure vouch for that. Oh, BS. Hey, look. But you can learn new tricks from an old dog. That's clever. You know... This book is pretty cool. His bark is worse than his bite. I've heard that a time or two. But they never say anything about his breath. That's even worse. Now you're being catty. Say, let's look up sayings about cats. There must be a zillion of them. Fat cat, Freddy cat, copy cat, let the cat out of the bag. More than one way to skin a cat. That one is so gross and frightening. Thank God that cats have nine lives. But the best life there is, is a dog's life. Take it from me. Ha, who says? You're such an animal. Look here, 15,000 entries. He'll never find any time for us.